I do think what you've managed to do in Deadwood and what you've managed to do in a lot of your roles is you've increased the bar of complexity for what a villain or a, or a baddie can be. And I always wondered if you sort of gravitated towards roles like that rather than an everyman or a hero, if, if it was just more interesting on a personal level for you to work in the gray nuanced areas rather than the... Oh yeah. I remember playing uh, Judas in uh, Jesus of Nazareth back yeah. in 1975. You'd rather play Judas I'd, than Jesus. I'd rather Jesus. play Judas than Jesus. There's an old Italian proverb that, you know, that when Jesus got to heaven, Judas was sitting on the right hand of, Je of God because there has to be somebody to tell the story. There has to be a bad guy to fulfill the prophecy of the story, otherwise there's no story, is there? The line, the great line is, is when Judas says, what shall I, you know, what shall I do, Jesus? And Jesus says, you know, do what you do, do, what you do Jesus, but do it quickly. Do it quickly, you know. And he, it's like he knows. Open, and the other line was, open your heart, not your head. And I think that's the key to all acting. You know, your head can be open, but then when you really act, you've got to open your heart as well. And then you get the perfect combination. It's funny that you find that quote so prescient, given the characters that you play. Yeah. In terms of, uh, there's as much a heart opening that has to happen for a villain as there is for... Oh, absolutely, because no villain believes they're a villain. They don't believe they're a villain. I mean, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure, you know, Rupert Murdoch, Donald Trump believe they are wonderful human beings. I'm sure in real life they really do believe they are. They're making the world a better place. You're sort of giving one of the great secrets of acting, which is that you probably don't approach any of your villains as villains. You probably no, don't pass judgment on no. them at all. You don't judge, a, don't judge it like that. You judge him on his own terms of what, where he's coming from. And in your own life, it seems like you, you never pass too hard of judgment on your own decisions. You no, no, you can't do. You just try and do the best. You try and do the best you can. You try and approach a situation, you know, soberly and intelligently. You look at it from every angle. Obviously, you know, and that, that includes, you know, without reacting violently off the cuff to suddenly. It's like saying, just take a pause, you know, think about it for a minute. It takes me back to where I am, you know.